hello guys and welcome to this short tutorial um, I'm going to show you how to use font awesome on your web project offline okay so basically what you need to do first is you need to navigate to fontawesome.com and you at the time of this recording this is what their home page looks like but irrespective of whatever time you're watching you would see a button that looks like this so this is start for free or get started or whatever so i'm going to click on start for free and it brings me to this page where i have actually have two options the first is to use font awesome online in other words you just have to, you just need to add their script tag to your um, website but then if you scroll down you will see that there is an option to download font awesome to your computer so go ahead and click on download and on this page you should see this button that you know enables you download font awesome free for the web so go ahead and click on download i already downloaded this file so go ahead click on download and locate the file so it's usually a zip file so basically what i'm going to do now is i'm going to right click and extract this file so go ahead and extract um, the font awesome file so it will take some time just wait it out it will extract um, while the extraction process is going on one thing you, i'm going to do is um, i'm going to create this folder so this is a test folder and within the test folder i have a css folder okay so um, you should have like a web folder where you're working on so mine is just test and within it there is a css folder all right so um the font awesome zip file has completely extracted so i'm just going to open up the extracted folder and this is what we have in the font awesome um, folder so basically what we need for our offline project is the css so basically i'll open the css folder and there are different style sheets here but particularly we either use the all or the all.min so i'm just going to go with the all i'll right click i'll copy and i'll head back to my test folder and then i'll open up the css file and paste it in so Control v and here it's here next let's open up our code editor so i'll go ahead open up my code editor and basically i'll create a new file so i'll say file and new file and i'll save this file within the test folder so i'll say where's my test folder i'll go to test folder and then i'll name the file index.html index and then i'll save so basically we have um an index.html file saved inside of our test folder okay oh this is index comma html so i'm going to rename it control shift s and i'll change it to index.html okay sorry about that okay so yeah so we have index.html i'm just going to delete this so basically what we want to do now is we want to create an html template so i'm just going to say i have emmet installed on my um on my visual studio code editor so i am going to expand this a little and i'm going to type an exclamation mark and hit the tab key now to link your font awesome to this document basically what you need to do is you need to use the link tag okay and you need to specify where the css file is so i have a css folder and this is how you go back to your css folder and then all.css and then go ahead and save okay okay so what you need to do next is you need to come to your font awesome folder and of course open it up and locate your javascript so your js folder open up your js folder and get your all that's js folder so i'm just going to right click um, but note that for production you are going to need all that mean the js so but for now i'll just go with the all the js i'm going to copy it and 
and I'm going to create a JS file here. So I'm just going to say JS, and within the JS file, I am going to paste in my JavaScript file. Okay, so um, so we're almost ready to go. So what we do next is I'm going to add a script tag to just below the just before the closing body tag so i'll just say script and i'm going to give it a source src of so there is the js folder first and then forward slash all the js and then i'll save okay so now let's go back to our browser and get one of the fonts so when you come to your browser you need to click on i icons and there are both paid and free icons here so i'm just going to click on free to select only the free icons and what i'm basically going to do is i'm going to get this icon so i'll right click and open in a new tab oh my internet is disconnected so i need to i need to connect back Okay, so I'll right click and open in a new tab and let me just get another one. Uh, I'm just gonna get this and then I'll open in a new tab. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to copy the icon. So to copy this icon, all you just need to do is to click on this. So if I click on it, it copies the HTML for that icon. I'm gonna come within my body tag and I'm going to paste it in. And then let's get the second icon. So to get this icon, all you just need to do is to um, click on the HTML and so I'm just going to paste it. So we have two icons, okay? And then I'm going to save. So if I open my page in the browser and dig it up a little, so we see our icons here, okay? So basically that's how you, oh, first off I need to disconnect. So I'm going to disconnect and I'm going to open the browser one more time and let's see so, so I open the new tab and we still have our icons here so basically I've installed font awesome for offline use on my desktop and that's how you can achieve the same thank you so much for watching this tutorial um, if you want to know how you can use font awesome online by just adding a script to your website then i'll leave a link in the description for you to see that don't forget to subscribe see you in another tutorial